Hey everyone, it's Aaron with Mountain Bike and Adventures and I'm back at Everstoke and I'm working on another wood feature for the Treeport Trail. This feature is going to be right after that wood drop I built a couple weeks ago and it's been in maybe a couple of my videos now. It's after the rock roller, small three foot drop. I'm currently sitting on some of the posts I started making. I got to get a bunch more cedar trees from up on top of the property. Today I think I'm going to focus on trying to get what I got so far over to the area and start fabricating and, and digging the post holes for this feature. Let's take a quick look at the inventory I made so far. Okay, so right now there's six four footers. There's one kind of hiding on the bottom. I got four three footers and four two foot. And then I have two at six feet. So I believe I need four more of those. I think I'm going to need eight at eight feet long. These are the planks for the actual tree fort, so I have to get those up there. But I started milling some planks for this feature. And I'm probably going to need 40 of these. And I'm doing them at right about 29 inches. And so I have a lot of logs here to make that happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We got 13 of them. So I'll need about 27 more if my math serves me well. That's a rough estimate. As I start building this and piecing it together, I'm sure I'm gonna need some cross members and a bunch more material and everything. And I don't want this feature to look perfect. I want it to have that BC look. You know, you find all these janky looking wood features. I want it to just have a lot of character and be really cool looking and be fun to ride. So the next thing I gotta do is get all this material I got so far, get it up to where I'm gonna build the feature, start digging the post holes, start getting some rock together so we don't have any wood making contact with the rock <laughs> we don't have any wood making contact with the dirt we want it to have contact with the rock and then i could start maybe laying out some planks it's always a ton of work but it's well worth it all right let's get at it So far, I got the planks that I milled out and a lot of those uh, cedar posts up here at the Tree Fort Trail, just right behind the drop. Let's go to the time lapse and make some things happen. It's a flowing day. I just finished uh, getting the bark off of those planks and I screwed those down. Now I just have to start on laying out the rest of the bridge. 
So I'm one third of the way done. You guys remember those nails from BCPOV's video when he was building the Huckback Well down by the Confidence Course and they kept bending? Well, these are the Amazon nails that he bought. I'm just pre-drilling the heck out of them. I didn't want them to go to waste. So I'm using them for this feature here because I'm out of lags. And if you pre-drill the holes, it seems like they work okay. Anyway, Eric, your nails are not going to waste. And look how this is perfectly lined up. Oh, yeah. This is as far as I'm gonna get this weekend. It's pretty sturdy. You can see me walking on it. See, walking, walking. Feetsies on the thing. And of course I gotta brace it up a lot more. My battery died and I broke a drill bit. I put that one to heck and back. But once I finish screwing all these down, put the cross braces and a few more supports underneath, this thing's going to be awesome. So I like how it's cambering right here, and I also like how it looks kind of janky, but it's organized, like an organized jankiness. I feel really good about the progress, but you can see I still have some beams I have to debark. I have one more beam to get up here, brush I got to clear, still have a lot that needs to be done. Add a chainsaw gas, so I can't do any more planks anyway. Plus, I want to butter up, I go through and I kind of edge off the sides and stuff with the chainsaw. So that's all still got to happen. And there's this one bug, it just won't leave my face alone. But anyway, that's just how it is out here. I apologize for not being able to get it done this weekend. I really wanted to, but it was just so much work. But that's going to be it for this episode. I do appreciate you guys following along on all my rides and builds. Be sure to make life an adventure, get out and build some crazy mountain bike feature. Thank you very much. Well, thank you.